need a hand. Down and gone. I dropped by the hospital, but they said Aaron's done there. Oh, he's been out for quite a while now. When did you get back? Last night. We read about you in the local paper. Brazil. That must have been something. The team's in the best shape we've ever been in. We're going to wipe up in Moscow. Where's Aaron? Oh, he just drove over to uh, Willow Creek. He shouldn't be long. I didn't think he'd be getting around yet. Hi, Mr. Corny Lowe. Hi, yourself, Katie. Well, you filled out quite a bit. Must have fed you pretty well down there. You and my father, we said the same thing. Well, what's in Willow Creek? New job at the high school. Oh, counselor for the exercise program. I heard that one of the Peterson girls got that job. Well, I guess that takes care of that. Well, maybe they were thinking about a different job, Miles. Maybe they just wanted to see what he looked like now. Aaron's got a lot of friends in athletics, Mr. Cornelow. Nobody'd hurt him. You know, one day he's going to own this farm. It would be better for him if everybody kept that in mind. So, I guess you'll be starting training for Moscow. I leave next week. You're not training in town? In Montreal. Oh, I was hoping you'd be around a little while here. Well, Greg Dubois, he's a... Uh, one of our teammates, Aaron knows him. He invited me up to his family's place and they've got a swimming pool and tennis courts and they've even got their own track. So we're gonna be training together. Well, you couldn't pass that up. Why wouldn't you let me come and see you in the hospital? I didn't know you liked hospitals. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? Me, I hate hospitals. Stay in them too long, you can get sick. Guy in a bed next to me comes in with a broken arm. Two days later, comes down with this real bad case of yours. What's yours? Mine's cold beer. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Sorry about that. How did it happen? You're shoveling grain. And the thing had caught my boot. I remember hearing a scream. And it was me. And I remember Dad pulling me out from behind. I all I asked him was uh, my boot was wrecked because uh, cause I just got them new. Oh, it's amazing how in just a second you can... Anyway, I'm going to see you about a job today. Your, your dad wants you on the farm. Boy, he doesn't waste any time, does he? Well, just because he's your father doesn't mean he might not be right, you know. Thanks for stopping by. Are you dismissing me? I'm sick of this thing sitting here unfinished. Aaron. Hey. I was going to take the gold in Moscow, remember me, huh? Now I'm not good enough to nursemaid a bunch of kids. College coaches don't want to know I'm alive and my old man wants to plant me here like one of his, one of his vegetables. Go on, okay? You get out of here, okay? 
Just leave me alone for a while. Okay. Let me see. That's all right. Stay still. It's a bad habit that comes from being a mother. Why aren't you using the leg instead of the crutches? I don't like it. Feels like a, I'm dragging something dead around. Claire! Claire, do you need anything from town? do there? He's all right. It's an accident. Well, let's have a look. Look, it's okay. Maybe you ought to stay away from the tools for a while until you can handle them better. Miles, he can manage.
try? Down by the SE section. He dunked it once, but he's okay. He shot those rabbits? He shot them. I don't think he'll try it again for a while, though, at least not without a life jacket. Well, uh, I uh, sort of wanted to do it myself. Without a life jacket? Mm -mm. Why? See if I could make it. But you didn't. The canoe went over. Yeah. But I still made it. Must have been your strong swimming style. I'd like to see it. Hey! So you went down the rapids in a canoe without a life jacket, and you didn't even know if you could swim. Now what kind of a stupid ass thing is that you do? Please, please. You're an idiot. You think that you're only a problem to you. Hey, come on! Stay there! Damn it! Don't you realize that we're all involved? That we all care? Katie. Can I come out now? It's, uh, it's very, uh, it's very wet here, Katie. The current was dragging me down. I was bumping off rocks, everything. And I knew I was gonna die. And I didn't even care. And then I don't... I don't know where it came from, but I... I started to... fight. Right. I wanted to live. start. Hey, what are you going to do? Try again? No, I'm going to knit you a sweater, idiot.
You know, Mr. Canelo, he was the third best high jumper in the world. It took him a while to get there. I can't expect him to forget it just like that. Katie, he needs to start. How do you know what he needs? You watched him go down the rapids, and you couldn't bring yourself to see what really happened. He put himself to a test and passed. That's what happened on the rapids. Katie, men do it every day, in different ways. He's his father's son, Mr. Cornelo. Whatever he does is his own idea. Nothing anybody says is going to make a damn bit of difference. Not bad. Get that new head gasket put in? Yep. Getting any pressure out of it? Sure. Good. I was afraid we'd need new valves. Yeah, well, they're scored a bit, but I, uh, I ground them down good as new. Well, I think she's all set. Well, let's get her started, see if we're in business. Something to do, you go do it. Wow, two legs. That's an old feels guilty. So what's this big surprise? No deal. Wait and see. This is the surprise? Jim Rainfield, the coach, is an old friend of mine. He's going to let you take over today's session. Hey. The best way to see how you feel about coaching is to try it, right? Wrong. Let's get out of here. Aaron, I thought you said that's what you wanted. Hey, Katie! How you doing, Aaron? Hey, I heard a lot about you. Thanks for stopping by. Let's go, you guys. Come on. Bad about enough. Let's, come on, let's get out of here. Aaron, come on. You've got to try it. This is Aaron Carnillo. As you know, he's a national high jump champ, and he owns a bronze medal in the Olympics. I was going to talk to you about high jump. Well, uh, talking about jumping isn't going to get you anywhere. You got to do it. Go on, let's do it. All right, all right, let's go. Everybody see that? What he just did, huh? Well, forget it. It's not the right style. Langley, shut up and listen. If you're serious about high jumping, not worth doing unless you are. Got to use a back layout technique. That's the Olympic style. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, you. That's my man, Langley. Get up here, see what you can do. Take it easy, Aaron. They're just kids. This isn't for their benefits, it's for mine, remember? Can you jump that? Sure. Good. Let's have it up at five feet. All right, that's a meter and a half. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a back layout over the bar, right? When you approach the bar, you punch your right knee, knee up across in front of your body. You take off on your left foot, you arch your back over the bar. Then you raise your head. That'll clear your legs. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Well, let's see it. Okay, let's get another bag in here. This could be dangerous. Oh, Langley's not worried about that, are you, Langley? Huh? Huh? He's not even worried about clearing the bar. You ready? Let's go. All right, come on, back up. Give him some room. You. Bad move. They arrest people for beating up on cripples. You're a prize, you know that. I thought you wanted to coach. Well, I don't. And if I had known when you were taking me, I would have told you so. Why? Because it's not enough. Those kids, they don't want to learn. They're just looking for fun. What's wrong with high jumping being fun? There's nothing wrong with high jumping being fun for them, but it's no good for me. High jumping is, high jumping was my life. It was the one thing that was unlimited, it was just open-ended. Every time I was jumping, I felt like I was defying gravity, doing something impossible. Remember when I made seven feet? Couldn't make it for a long time. But after I made it, I knew, I knew there was no limit. I could just keep going higher and higher. That's what it was for me. That's what it is for me. You don't want a coach? So what's left? I want to compete. I want to jump. has some applications for the disabled games. All I have to do is just go down there tomorrow and pick one up for you. Uh-uh. I want the Olympic trials. Aaron, I thought that you were going to be realistic about this. First of all, you don't have enough strength in one leg to make a decent height. And second, even if you could, I don't know that they'd let you compete. You know, I look at this bar and I tell myself, there is no reason why I can't. I'm still the same person. I mean, mentally, I can still jump seven foot six inches. <laughs> Just physically, I got a little problem. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna have to change my technique, but I know I'm gonna be able to do it. Straight dive. What? Why don't you try a straight dive? It's legal if you take off on one foot. 
I don't have a whole lot of choice. It's just a simple dive and flip. Okay. No crutches. Right, no crutches. No crutches? No crutches. No crutches. We can get two more hangs out of it before snow. We could use some, too. I wouldn't count any more rain. Never know, though. Treat the land fair, and it'll treat you fair back. You really love this farm, don't you? How can you love something that doesn't love you back? How do you know it doesn't? Get out of here, talking nonsense. Hello? Yes, yeah, she's here. It's for you. Long distance. Thanks. Hello? Yes. Hi, Greg. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Sure I do. No, I can't. Listen, I'll give you a call tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Yeah, bye. Did you pick up the track shoe in town? I've never designed anything like that before. Looks good. Maybe we should uh, give it to him tonight at dinner. No. I'll give it to him later. Sure, whatever you want. He doesn't know that you're going to Montreal with that Greg fella yet, does he? Does he? No. You've helped make him stronger. But he's not strong enough. Not yet. And when you do tell him, he's going to need someone. Claire, why are you angry with me? I'm not. And I'm not trying to take away from what you've done. I'm just being practical. What he does out there, that's you. It's not Miles. It's not me. He thinks about us in a different way than he thinks about you, and you know that. I don't know how to tell him. If you have to hurt him, do it fast. And let him do what he has to do. You've always been honest with him, Katie. I love you for that. So does he. Don't stop now. Too much. I mean, she had it all wrapped up like it was a birthday present. Why don't you figure out the design? It's me. Hey! Isn't that 
that guy who you had your jollies with? Langley, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't scare him off. Do you want to wait before you jump until he goes? Nah. Hey, Langley. Hey, Langley, come on over. Want to see a one-legged jumper get a bloody nose? Oh, ye of little faith. How are you doing? OK. How's the form? Working on it. You want to try one? Your way? Hey, look, it's not just my way. It's the way someone figured out you get the best lift. You know, you almost had it that last time. Except you uh, just stiffen your legs, that's all. What do you say, you want to try one? Sure. Hey, give me a hand, will you? Uh, sorry about your landing last time. It's my fault. Next one will be no sweat. I promise. Just do exactly what I told you last time. You take your time. One forty. Okay? And just take your time. You think through every move. Lock your mind to your muscles. When you're ready, take off. Go! Woo! Go! Where'd it go? That's great. Now all you gotta do is make it higher. Katie? Got to make 2.03 to qualify, right? Right. You're going to jump six foot eight? I sure as hell going to try. Try? Try? Oh, who of little thing? Do it, Cornelio! Yeah, I want to go to the trials this week in Toronto. Uh, those are my training records. You've applied to the committee? Well, I sort of, sort of wanted you to enter me. Well, I'll certainly qualify you. What about a coach? I was coach. But you'll both need funding, and all our money's been allotted. Well, I've got some money put aside for my fare and expenses. I'll get my share, somehow. But I'll get this application on the plane tonight. The executive will have to okay it. Their last meeting is tomorrow. But if you're jumping six foot eight, they can't say no. You think you can do it, Aaron? George, we wouldn't be here if we didn't. But you better get yourselves on an airplane, like tomorrow. But right now, I want to see that six foot eight jump. Dad, my jump has come along really well. Good, good, good exercise. I'm jumping a foot to what I've jumped in before. Son, you can do anything you set your mind to. Anyway, I Pass want... Pass the butter, please. Anyway... And the salt. and I need $200. They're on this week in Toronto. George Heyman, he's authorized my application. He's sure it's going to go through. I've made arrangements to go with him as his coach. Miles? 
craziest thing I ever heard of. Dad, I'm only asking for 200 bucks. I never asked you to talk about it. I, I never, never asked you for any money before. No, no, we're finished talking about it. I won't let you make a freak show of yourself in Toronto. You want to know something? You really want to know something? The only one who thinks that I'm a freak is my father. He wasn't just asking you for money, you know. Show it to Herb Granger. If I can. I'll give you $200 for it. You, what are you going to do with it? Well, your father said I should have a hobby. I've decided to take up canoeing. You'll have to teach me the fine points, of course. So? Put that thing back where it belongs. I'll take this. I got a feeling I just put myself up the creek. <laughs> what do you think? You better save yourself. How do you feel? I'm ready. I am ready. I leave tomorrow morning. Flight's at 10.50. Where you know? I checked. Hey. I, uh, figured out a way that we can, uh, save some money and on our trip. Uh-huh. We, uh, get only one room at the end instead of two. <laughs> very funny. No, it's, uh, it's very practical. Worked that weekend in Montreal, remember? Something's wrong. What is it? The leg? If you think that, you're even dumber than I thought. I don't remember the leg being critical to the act. Matter of fact, it used to just get in the way sometimes. Hey, listen, you idiot. I've been thinking about us making love ever since I started coming down here. And I'd be a liar if I didn't say that. Uh, you, you're too much, you know that? You want it, but you don't want it? Well, I, I sure as hell don't want to stand here and and talk about it. Come on. Into the barn and up into the hayloft, just like old time. No. No, there's something wrong. I met this guy at the games in Brazil. Greg Dubois, you know. Well, I was going to go to his folks' place in Montreal. We were going to train together for the games in Moscow. I bet you were. Yeah, we were. We were going to sleep together, too. And eat together, and talk together, and laugh together, and then maybe I'd meet somebody else and do exactly the same thing with him. Nobody owns me, Aaron. I, I do what I want to do. Oh, wow. So what are you hanging around here for? Because you need me. And right now, I, I guess that I need to be needed more than anything else. Yeah, and a bold Aaron really needs to be serviced. Well, what the hell, eh? It's all for a good cause. You're not going to make me walk out on you. So just cool it. I love you. 
I love you as a friend. I'm closer to you than anybody else in the whole world. But right now, we've got something to prove to ourselves and everybody else, and we're gonna. And I'm not gonna let anything you say change that. But I, I gotta follow my own life. Do you understand? Sometimes that's even more important than love. He couldn't get her in the hayloft. Claire. Wouldn't be the first time, you know. Sometimes I don't believe what comes out of your mouth. I don't know why you're so surprised. I've been saying what I was thinking for the last 28 years. Not like you. I meant every word I said to him. I know. But you didn't say what you were thinking. You're a mind reader. Only yours, Miles. Ever since the accident, you've been thinking, if I only hadn't, if I only didn't, it wasn't your fault. Just because it happened on your farm to your son, it wasn't your fault. Stop punishing yourself. People who don't know any better would think that you were angry at Aaron. I'm not angry with him. Hell, I know that. You love him. You just don't want him to be hurt. Tell him that. Gotta let people know what's on your mind. Like I do. Shower with a friend. Two rooms, please. Find some other friend to shower with. They got a gym here. You want to work out? No, let's go see the stadium. George Heyman recommends them highly. How high up was the leg uh, severed? Right up to the thigh, I understand. It's incredible. Uh, gentlemen, I think the ability of Aaron Cornelo is admirable. But his participation is something that we can't allow. Ingram, you were an athlete. How do you respond to an amputee? Guilt? Embarrassment? Thankful that it isn't you? That you're still whole? We can't submit the other team members to these emotions on the field. How can they do their best under such circumstances? That's why we have the disabled games. Look, look, time is getting short. Let's put it to a vote. How do you feel? Scared. Might be a good idea to get a few jumps in today. Mm -hmm. Greg! Greg! Katie! I didn't know you'd be here. Even hard to get in touch with. I thought you were coming down 
to stay with you. Greg. Hey, Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, how are you? It's fine, thanks. Sorry about what happened. Hell of a thing. Uh, hey, come see me win the high jump? I'm coaching high jump. You're coaching? Who? Aaron. Oh, I mean, great. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? It's a straight dive. It's elementary, but it works. Yeah? When do I see it? Oh, I better not. I look so good, everybody want to lose a leg to try it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, and hey, listen, why don't we all go someplace intimate where you two can talk? Okay? Hello? Oh, hi, George. No, they left this morning. No, I don't know the name of the hotel. No, no, George. Well, now, George, there's no need to apologize. I'm sure they'll... they'll understand. Thanks for calling. What is it? They don't want to let Aaron come and Pete. Why not? He didn't say. I told him not to go. Is that all you have to say? Well, George says there's nothing he can do. Well, I'm damned if I'm just going to stand here. Could I have one seat on the next plane to Toronto, please? What do you think you're doing? I'm going to help him. Thank you. The name's Cornelo. K-O-R-N-Y-L-O. -O. Make that two seats. Well, I feel much better. Not having to fly in that thing all by myself. What chance? Why haven't you answered my letters? Or called me or anything? I've been busy. With Aaron. How busy? Busy? Permanently busy? Oh, God, don't give me the third degree. Hey, you tilted my machine. You ruined my game, you know. You weren't doing very well anyway. Look, you ruined my game. Cough up a quarter. Hey, look. You get two plays for this game, right? I only tilted one. So you can offer me 12 and a half cents? I don't believe it. Hey, maybe you should try that game over there. Test your intellect for only a dime. It's about all it's worth. That's macho. That's very macho. Sorry. Well, we'll have to keep the food concession people off the field, or we'll have garbage everywhere. That way it'll... Yes? Can I help you? There was nobody outside. Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. My name is Claire Cornelo. This is my husband, Miles. We want to know why you won't let our son, Aaron, compete. Mrs. Cornelo, it is our responsibility to weigh the circumstances of each application and come to a decision in the best interests of the other contestants and the meet as a whole. Now, this is a national competition where we prepare and choose our teams for the international competition in Moscow. Why did you reject him? There are other competitions for Aaron, uh, Mr. Cornelo. This is the one that counts right now. Uh, I understand, Mr. Cornelo. Have you seen him jump? No. Have any of you seen him jump? We've seen the statistics. Then you know he qualifies. There are other considerations. He's jumped the right height. He's registered and experienced. He deserves the right to try. Your son does have a right to jump. 
except when it interferes with the other athletes. Now, we believe your son would represent a diversion to them. Like a freak show. Come on, lover boy, you're going to knock him dead. Hey, you and Greg get everything squared away? We're working on it. So I noticed. Hey, is Carol Coates going out with anyone? Forget it, she ain't even alone. Said it's better, I promise. <laughs> No answer. He must have gone to dinner. Well, keep trying. Try Katie's room, too. And Claire, get yourself something to eat. It's going to be a long night. Give him hell. Ma'am? I said ring the bell. Yes, ma'am. I want you to know I feel very badly about this. I would have liked to have given your son every opportunity. It's not that we're against Darren. <laughs> Sit down. We all think it's wonderful what he can do. It's just the effect his handicap might have on the other athletes. They've known each other for years. Yes, I know, but in competition, uh, concentration is very critical. We, we can't allow anything or anybody to interfere with that. crazy to come here, but he came anyway. You see, he's still trying to prove that he's a whole person. And now you're all telling him that he's not. You know something, Mr. Wallace? You're wrong. Everybody's staring at us. So? So, uh, I casually look down and see if my fly's open. For God's sakes, Aaron, they're looking at your leg. Oh, that old thing. Hey, there's Carver from the committee. And there's the ever popular Carol Coates. Aaron, how are you? Hey, hi, guy. Katie. Uh, Katie, Aaron, I'd like you to meet Trisha? Uh, we've met. Hey, I have to ask, Aaron. How do you do it? Charm. Pure, unadulterated charm. Well, it's a sort of um, combination roll and dive. That's legal? It is if you only take off on one foot. Hey, well, what height's he done? He'll show you tomorrow. Have you done six and a half yet? Uh, you heard the coach. Well, what's all the mystery about? Forgiven? Yeah. Dance? Sure. Uh, you want a drink? Sure. Oh. <laughs> What's with the limp? It only hurts when I laugh. Hey, uh, uh you want to try dancing? Sure. Splinter. 
see the way they looked at me. You've got to get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just sort of nervous about tomorrow. Mm, you and everybody else. Aaron? Hey, Trisha. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're really corny, you know. If you're going to fall for me, you just have to say so. You don't have to act it out. You swap lies about each other? You're free. <laughs> Aaron? You want to dance? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Coach's orders. I'll be back to you in a minute. Hell of a thing. What's the matter? Carver from the committee. I knew it. I knew it couldn't be that simple. Well, I'm going to get a few damn answers. I don't know who the hell that Carver thinks he is. No, just leave it alone. It's over. No, I'm not going to leave it alone. Look, you want me to understand you? Well, I do. Well, just understand me. Just leave it alone! I just want to spend a little time by myself. That's all. Why don't you two, uh, just... Go back in and have yourselves a ball. Will I see you before you leave? Anything? Oh, sure. L listen, I, I'm really okay. Honest. See y'all, huh? Maybe it's for the best. Maybe he realizes that. Hey, he wanted it. We both did, and we both worked very hard for it together. And now we're back to square one. So you can take your maybe it's for the best, and you can shove it up Mr. Carver's nose. Here or here in general? I, I mean, here in Toronto. Well, George told us what happened. Ma's out seeing what he can do. I've been trying to find you and Aaron. I haven't been in a bar by myself since 1953. I like it. Well, I just left Aaron and I can go find him. Katie, it's time we stop nursing those boys. Let them have back whatever it is that's bothering them. Do whatever they have to do. Miles has already got his motor started, and Aaron's just got to learn to crank himself up whenever he starts to stall. Now sit down. Be a liberated woman. Have a drink. Waiter! I think I'm tight. Carver won't let Cornello compete. He says it'll have a bad effect on the rest of us. That's ridiculous. Of course, it's always been regrettable that some country uses it as political propaganda instead of letting the athletes. Mr. Carver, could I speak to you for a minute? Hey, this is Cornello's father. I don't know what more there is to say, Mr. Cornello. The decision is made. The committee agreed. Well, I've already spoken to the other members of the committee, and they've changed their decision. I need your signature on that to complete everything. I don't know what you told the others, but... Do you have anything against my son? Why, of course not. Well, then tell me, why are you afraid to allow Aaron to compete? We want to know, too, Mr. Carver. Look, it has nothing to do with Cornelo. We, we talked, and, and we want Cornelo to compete. It's impossible. Look, every one of us wants a shot at beating him, one leg or two. Now, look. In fact, if Cornelo doesn't compete, then we won't either. You're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble, Dubois. I think I just got myself out of it, Mr. Carp. Uh, well, you mind not pressing so hard?
Dad, what are you doing here? Is Mom okay? She's downstairs in the bar with Katie. Both of them are feeling no pain right now. Your mom's teaching Katie the first 12 verses of Roll Me Over in the Clover. Katie tell you the freak show's canceled? I... I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Why not? You're right. Uh, what are you and Mom doing here, anyway? When we heard about the committee, your Mom and I thought this is the right place for us to be. Some of your friends downstairs were a big help. What I mean is your Mom and me. We both think it's right for you to go through with this. You know, when the accident happened, I thought that was the end of everything. You showed me I was wrong. Funny, when you were born, the first thing I asked was, well, does he have the right number of everything? Arms, legs, fingers, toes. <laughs> I guess a parent wants to make sure that a child has everything that's coming to him. Aaron, you're just as whole and complete a person now as I asked for the first day your mom let me hold you. What I'm saying is that I love you and I respect you and I hope you'll forgive me for being so slow in telling you and, and showing you They're up in the stands. Now, when you go, you've got to drive with your arms, you've got to take off from your toes. Now, you did well in practice, so uh, don't let anything bother you. You all right? You okay? Better than you, that's for damn sure. Steve Catlow jumping. Greg Dubois on deck. Now, you made this height before, no problem. Hey, hey, Katie, Katie, you let go of my leg, you're putting it to sleep. I'm sorry. Greg Dubois jumping. Aaron Cornelio on deck. He's Katie's new fella. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you about that later. He just did. He's the one that stuck his neck out for Aaron. does it.
you're going well. The bar will now be raised to six feet, 11 inches. Steve Catlow jumping, Greg Dubois on deck. Boy, oh boy. Old Steve's been woodshedding on it since Montreal. He's doing better than ever. I just forget it. You're not going against him, you're going against the crossbar. Now remember that, you're going against the crossbar. I'm trying, Coach, I'm trying. Greg Dubois jumping. Aaron Cornelo on deck. Aaron Cornelo jumping. Greg Dubois on deck. Greg Dubois, second attempt. I'm gonna pass this round. I'll save my two attempts. You sure? Yeah. Aaron Cornelio on deck. Aaron Cornelio passes. Something's happening down there. Oh, Aaron's passing to save himself for a higher jump. I know all the rules. Now, how the hell would you know all that? Oh, I know a lot of things you don't. Greg Dubois jumping. Third and final attempt. Greg's gone. The bar is now raised to seven feet. Steve Catlow jumping. Aaron Cornelio on deck. Aaron Cornelio jumping. Steve Catlow on deck. Make this one, you make the team. The Moscow Olympics. One legged high jump at the Olympics. Ridiculous. You're serious? I don't want the Olympics. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think now I ever wanted those Olympics. Well, what the hell are we doing here? What we're doing here is we came here to prove something when we have. Well, don't you want to see how far you can go? Katie. I know how far I can go. Just for you. <laughs> 